So in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, again, edit an object, but change its size. So there's two different ways you can do that. You see in this simple cantilever example, my anchor is too big. It's coincident with the poly um, one cantilever. The anchor one is coincident on the top and on the bottom side. So one way we can um, adjust the size is we can select it, and then if you go right to the edge and push down on your scroll button, your middle mouse button, you can change the size here. And if you have the snap set up properly, you can go ahead and um, you know, actually snap it to the size you want. Another thing you can do is you can select the structure and go back to the edit and edit object um, part of the menu. Or you can do a control E. If you click on edit object, you can see that um, it's the anchor one that we just drew. So now we're okay with it, but let's say we want to change the coordinates. So you have x1, uh, x2, which is the left and right um, corners, and then the y1 and y2. And I'm, and I'm not sure which is top and which is bottom, but if you look at this, you can actually see which is which. So you can say x1 is at negative 6 coordinate, and x2 is at negative 1. So x2 is on the right corner, and x1 is on the left corner. Okay, so if I change, say I want to make it thinner, um, I like where it is on the left side, I want to change where it is on the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and change x2. And I want to make that anchor, say, 4 microns wide. So the difference between negative 6 and negative 2 would be 4. Right? right now it's 5 microns, so I'm going to change that to negative 2 on x2. Now, I don't like the height of this thing, so you know, it, right now it's at about um, from 14 to 26 units. Um, let's say I only want the thing to be 10 instead of 12 microns. So I can take y2, which will be the higher one, right, one on top, and bring it down two microns. Okay? Now I can see that it's going to be centered at negative 4, 4, or negative 4 in x, and uh, at y equals 19. So you can work with coordinates. If you get used to that, you can actually do a lot of good, solid designing just by adjusting these coordinates. So I'll say, okay, I just changed this. I'm going to hit OK, and you can see my anchor changed. All right? Well, let's say I don't like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control E. Okay, and I believe you can do center and dimensions. So now we have the center. So I want to bring it up in Y. Okay, maybe four microns or so. So I can bring the Y center up four microns. If I hit OK, I just moved it up. Well, I went too far. Okay, so you can play this game. Control E brings up the menu again. So let's go ahead and bring it back down a couple. Okay, hit OK. Now it looks pretty centered. All right, so I have one more object I'm going to do just to go through um, the process one more time. You can see this dimple is huge. If I actually made a dimple this big, it would be too big and it would. Um, result in the cantilever sticking to the poly zero. So I want to make my dimple a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So I've selected the dimple. If I do control E, okay, yep, there's the dimple. Okay, you can see it's centered at this location and has a certain radius. All right, now remember, we're doing circles, so we get these coordinates here. So we only need three coordinates to define a circle. Where is the center and what is the radius? So this is easy. I like where it's centered pretty much, so I'm just going to go ahead and make the radius smaller. So I believe um, you want dimples to be about four or five microns. So if we make the radius two, the diameter is four. That should be big enough that we can actually produce it, pattern it as it were, 
right? Nominal is probably around anywhere from three to four microns. So um, the radius of two ends up being a diameter of four. I'm going to hit OK, and now there's my dimple. So I just changed the size of the dimple by editing the object. You know, you understand now how to select an object and change its size uh, or change where it's centered by using that um, edit object um, window. Okay.